In this video, we'll show you how to install a Novatech motherboard bundle. If you're upgrading an older PC, please ensure that any valuable data is backed up or ensure that you have a blank hard drive to install a new operating system onto. When changing the motherboard, you can't use a previous install from another system. Next, you need to check whether you've got the correct case. Depending on which bundle you purchase, you'll need a PC case that is either Micro ATX or ATX in size. A Micro ATX board can fit into an ATX case, but an ATX board will not fit into a Micro ATX case. You'll also need to check that you've got the correct power supply. A quick and easy way to check your power supply is to make sure that it has these connectors. Some higher spec motherboards may require additional types of connector and adapters. If in doubt, please give us a call or speak to one of our technical advisors on our live chat. Before fitting your motherboard bundle into your case, you'll need to remove your old motherboard. If you're using a new case, you can skip this step. Start by unplugging any cables coming from your power supply that are connected to your motherboard. Next, remove the screws that are securing the motherboard to the case, but put these in a safe place as you'll need them later. Once all the plugs and screws are removed, you can now gently remove your motherboard. You'll also need to push out the old I.O. shield. Next, insert the new I.O. shield that came with your motherboard bundle. Now you're ready to fit the metal standoffs that will space the motherboard from the back of the case. This is an important step as incorrectly positioning standoffs can damage your motherboard. In order to work out where these should go, locate the screw holes on your motherboard as a guide for the correct place for the standoffs. Once this is complete, you're ready to place your motherboard bundle into your case. Place your motherboard carefully so that the connectors line up with the holes in the I.O. shield. Lift the motherboard slightly so the underside does not scratch on the standoffs and slide the board so the connectors pass through the appropriate holes in the I.O. shield. Using the screws you removed earlier, you're now ready to screw the motherboard bundle into the case. You can now connect the power supply cables to the motherboard. You'll require one or more of the following. Now connect any hard drives or optical drives. The last thing we need to do is connect the power switch, reset switch, hard drive LED and power LED. These are connected to a 9 pin header on the motherboard. Here's an example of how one may be wired. These can vary depending on your motherboard. If in doubt consult your manual for the correct wiring. Some cases also support front USB. Check carefully for the correct layout for the USB header as incorrect wiring may damage your motherboard. You've now completed your motherboard bundle install. You may now add any further hardware you require before installing your operating system.